Selfless already looking incredibly strong on that first point. We will, in fact, see Zephyr pulling back Sherfor coming away with his life for the time being. But Sinatra and DeFran going to go ahead and quickly cancel that out. As they find that kill. Michael3D pretty close, actually, to getting that nano boost ready. And they are already getting control of that high ground. Here's the thing, Storm, with, with that sound barrier available, they really do have a shot to kind of cancel out Dax, but that is going to come down to what this blade can accomplish as Gods pulls it out. He is not in the greatest spot right now. He is forced to dash up there and doesn't find any value with that Dragon Blade. He's going to try to follow through with the kill on the Sinatra if possible, but now this is Selfless's opportunity to push forward. Kresnik on the forefront with the payload, hits a nice shatter, gets both of the supports down, but no, the follow-up isn't there on the Wolf. Allows him to pop that Transcendence and save his own life and potentially a couple of his teammates and push back self was once again here. Maybe picked up two kills there, but there's Rolf coming back into this one. Hop to Transcendence and now they've got their numbers in their favor here, but Rolf immediately taken down after that expires. They're forced to use a second defensive ultimate there just to make sure they can keep themselves alive and God's now unsheathing the blade. Oh, Sinatra still in the fight though, has that pulse bomb coming up soon. Both tanks up. Emong actually going to get demecked. We'll have to see if Sherfor can come out with this kill. He's just kind of trying to troll around and see if he can stay on the point long enough to actually keep it up. As we do see Zephyr finding the kill on the deck, it's still back and forth. We do see Kresnik actually taken. It's still back and forth here as Rolf falls. Gods is really one of the only guys left alive, oh, and that's going to be it. It's Dufran, the man. He picks up two big kills there and should be able to finish off Zephyr. He's going to be demecked here. Adam is coming around in Tac Visor from Dufran just to secure this one. Not the worst ultimate by any means, but they just want to be they want to be sure that they can get this one because that was coming down to the wire. 215 to be able to finish out this map. Move the payload forward now. No ultimates other than a shatter coming up here from Kresnik. We'll see if he can find something. They get rid of Kaiser. That's going to allow for Kresnik to come through. Hits a couple. Puts him on the ground. But now Gots has a Dragon Blade. He has the sound barrier to help him out as well. Isn't enough. The frame coming through. Gets the nano boost. Keeps himself alive thanks to the damage reduction. But still, Kresnik on his back foot. He's going to be taken down. And Cloud9 might have reinforcements to help him out. We'll have to see Defran pretty low, but he's going to be able to get himself a little bit of healing. Kaiser comes through swinging, and he pushes him off the point for a second with that kill. But we do see reinforcements for both sides. Obviously, huge advantage to Cloud9 in terms of distance. So maybe they'll be able to get back and support Kaiser. He does have the Harmony Orb. He's going to be able to get healthy here. But the rest of Selfless is in tow behind Kresnik as they're pressing forward onto this point. Yeah, there's the attack visor. He immediately uses Transcendence. Now Sinatra can time this out to drop that uh, Graviton Surge when it expires. Three people are caught up in this one. A kill off onto Wolf comes of it, but unfortunately two tanks are too much. A blocked out Ultimate Kaiser straight into Kresnik's shield, and Kresnik should have this under locks if they can take care of business onto Gods. Sherefor does find the Pulse Bomb kill onto the D.Va after that Self-Destruct does come out, but still not going to be enough as it looks like Selfless Oh, are they going to be able to do it before? That, oh, right before the overtime ticks up. That's 0.7 seconds. That is seconds. actually big. That is really big. Even more potent with that blade. And Emong with the Niscorp. We're going to see the blade pulled out from Gods here. They actually forced Kaiser to utilize his ultimate there because of a pulse bomb from Defrain up top. Even so, it seems to be worth his while. Emong able to grab a couple for himself there. But in the end, it should be the rest of C9 cruising forward to the second checkpoint in, in quite a better time than we actually saw. Over a minute extra compared to the side of Selfless, but Selfless have people coming back to this one. Resnick immediately dropped. Both supports are here. They're going to be taken down with ease. I know a little bit of distance. 12 meters left to go about to be able to secure this. I mean, really, they want to get a little bit more time involved here so that they have you know, even more of an opportunity to press it in that first point on the objective for that overtime. God's coming through with the Dragon Blade. Initially hit him, sheathed it, got pulled in there, but Imong wasn't able to fall through with that kill thanks to the Transcendence from Rolf. They're still struggling on the defense to be able to muster up anything here. A minute remaining. They're going to try to hold this off as best they can. Can Michael3D get here in time? Doesn't look like that's the case. And it's going to be Selfless, or it should be Cloud9 finishing with about a minute extra, 57 seconds. Almost got hit in a sweet spot, forced actually recall, but remember, we're in the territory of this only being one push at this point, especially with how passive we're actually seeing these guys. But Kaiser is reeled in here. He's in a rough spot. Can they fall through with this one? Good heals coming out there from the side of Wolf to be able to keep him alive. And Kresnik just charging out is going to be more than likely shot as he goes out of position. But Sinatra finds sure for as he falls down. He was even out of position himself. And that's a huge pick because now they find two. 
They're going to pin him back into the cafe here. They do pick up Sinatra, but the numbers. Oh, Nana Boost on the Kaiser. Kaiser doesn't have an ultimate. He's going to try to swing away. Gets one for himself. Is it enough? The charge does miss a little bit here, but still, there are numbers for both sides. Ultimate ready to go from Kaiser. Needs to make sure he isn't. Uh, obviously, Kresnik's shield isn't up there. There's a Nana Boost on the Kresnik. The shatter's out. It hits three. Sure Force there. He needs to clean up crew. He picks up one for himself. Cloud Nine have an opportunity, but Kresnik comes through the shatter. Kind of missing there. Oh man, somehow Kresnik and Emong are still alive. They're so low. They need to get that kill on Emong, and they finally do. Zephyr with that pickup. Kaiser still pressed. Everybody is in his face, but they have everybody from self with so low. Look at this overtime ticking down as they find these last couple of kills. Oh, Kaiser gets the nano boost for a second time here, and on, I, I mean, Selfless don't even put up the 33% here, so that will be all they need to be able to secure this one. We'll have to see. I mean, it's, time is definitely dwindling. We do see the Pulse Bomb at the ready. Can sure for find a pick for himself. They have the Sound Barrier out. The, oh, Pulse Bomb not going to find anything as Kaiser turns, and that's going to be Sinatra pulling out that Graviton Surge. It doesn't look like anybody from Cloud9 is going to be able to sway this fight at all here. Kaiser's going to be taken down. It's Wolf and Zephyr, the final ones. The Shatter comes down. It takes care of business, and we have tied on Hollywood in our first match of the best of five series. Adam coming up on a resurrect, so he's gonna really have to pay, uh, be you know, paying attention, taking care of business along with Sinatra to find that opening kill onto Adam in particular here. Sinatra getting pushed down pretty low there as he already has that pulse bomb out, so now he's gonna try to generate the next one. Dak actually with the sound barrier throws it out, doesn't get very many of his teammates with it actually. You know, aside from himself, it was just two other members of his team that got it. But the rest of C9 just kind of stuck in that oh, little building. What a res! He gets almost all of them back up. Gods wasn't a part of the mix here. But even so, they go ahead and pop that second defensive ultimate with Wolf Sound Barrier to make sure they can keep themselves healthy into what they're able to push out here from Defran, who's on the side being dealt with by Zephyr. And this is going to be C9 actually coming back into this one, I believe. And unless Imong has something to say about this. And now that Michael 3 ds back in the mix, he might be able to pick up a kill. Transcendent is still 20% off from him, though. So really, really good play from Rolf. They're going to have that Nano Blade into the next one with the Earth Shatter ready to go. Deadeye already came out from sure for it, but he, I'm not, I don't think he's going to find anything. Another Nano Blade from Gods. He's looking for something in the back here. He does find one and still there are four people here for the side of selfless we've got a four on four on the point but no wolf gonna be taken down there's a shatter kaiser able to find two off it the charge up to friend recalls through the charge kresnik is gonna be here with one of his own remember they're at 90 percent are they gonna get the flip mid fight they do indeed and that's gonna be c9 backing off looking for another engagement before this finishes up. gods really needs to make a huge play here sound barrier comes out i don't know if they can pull this off they used the shatter from Kresnik. He didn't find anything, but remember, Kaiser is back up in the mix now. No ultimates coming up here other than Zephyr and Gods. If they can manage to hold off for another 20 seconds or so, they might have it, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Selfless have the numbers here. They almost have an ultimate from Sinatra, who's actually taken down, but even so, I don't think it matters at this point. Gods, the last one remaining other than both Shurfor and, uh, Shurfor and Adam here. He's trying to do something immediately taken down as he brings out the blade, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that Selfless have this one in the back. Kaiser coming off of a respawn here. He doesn't make it back. And Selfless go up 1-0 in the set. You can't solely just rely on gods to get a hook at that point. I mean, you gotta wonder, what were they thinking to not try to combat that high ground? Maybe tunnel back if, if possible. But I mean, clearly it worked out for him. Gods is a finding monster! Gods picking up a couple of hooks for himself, Yurix. But even so, I hope they make an adjustment moving forward after this uh, through this fight victory. Zephyr does receive that nano boost just to ensure they clean this up. Oh, the hook comes out as well from God, so he doesn't have the option. Oha coming out as he's very, very low. I don't think Selfless expected this. They just turned around, speed boosted in there, and brought out the whole hog with the sound barrier. But even so, Sinatra was lingering on the point. They capped the point. They actually, <laughs> they actually pull a C9 right there. They didn't pay attention to what was happening on the point here. You have to remember that that change did occur where he's going to have more shield up time. Oh, they used a Graviton Surge. Sinatra taken down. That was a good bio grenade coming out there from Rule. But they used the sound barrier a little late. I would have liked to see that come from them. Oh, Kaiser through the payload. Picks up three with the shatter and certainly will help his team back them off. And now you got to wonder, do you make the change? Yes, you do. There's God's ready to go with the blade. Zephyr ready to go again with the Graviton. I mean, doesn't have a lot of energy right now to kind of back it up, but he is going to be able to drop it right into that corner. He's going to be killed off, but does his team 
have the damage to finish the job. Graviton Surge was out, but the, uh, the there was no follow-up from the Dragon Blade. He wasn't in the area as it looked like he was knocked back here, but it's the Fran turning the corner, comes around with the Nano Visor. Doesn't really find many kills, any kills at that, but does manage to push them all the way back and force C9 to get a regroup. Well, Defran's looking around for <laughs> for Surefire at the moment, who's just kind of in the background. Defran, oh, I don't know if he sees Oh, he does see him. The Pulse Bump comes out onto Kresnik, but saved actually there. And that's going to be by Dak with the sound barrier. Defran finds that kill. Oh, but they turned around for too long. Kresnik didn't have his shield up, got hit by the Shatter. Even so, there was no one there to follow through Kaiser. Didn't really have the necessary support to be able to move forward past the past the line of sight of the payload, so he just kind of forced to back off of that one. Adam's going to be taken down, and another checkpoint secured. 305 for the side of Selfless. He's got the high ground, or Tagfire's Ty almost ready to go. The Nano Boost is coming out onto a Mong of all people. There's a Shatter. Kresnik able to lay Adam flat here. They utilize the Tag Pfizer. I'm not a fan of that one from the Fran. I think they could have held on to that here for the next fight, but even so, 145 already off the board. Avoiding a hook, Gods gets the Nano Boost. It's into a Graviton Surge, but no, he's charged into. Oh man, there's a Shatter. Kaiser looking for something. He's going to be dropped so back and forth, but Gods trying to knock them off the point. They have a tick here. The whole hog not going to get much from either side, but even so, it's Emog dropping in the end. Three people are still here for the side of uh, the side of Selfless, but the attack visor comes out from sure for they want to secure this one in due time. He's creeping around, looking for something. He gets a hook on the wolf. That's a great start for these guys. Dragon Blade's out there for gods. He doesn't get anything. It's the Fran picking him up with the tactical visor. He is going to be reeling in the kills here. Kaiser looking for a shatter. He gets the Fran in the back, but Kresnik blocks out the rest of them. I think this is it for C9 on on King's Row here. They have Adam in the area. He's going to be hit with the hammer. He's going to be taken down and selfless, finding themselves with a 2-0 to zero series lead. Still, sure for coming up on an ultimate, but no, Defran finds that kill onto him. There is a charge into the back as well. Kaiser finds Kresnik still back and forth throughout most of this. No clear advantage, but there's a charge, or excuse me, Kaiser coming out there with, a, with his ultimate, with the Earth Shatter. He gets taken down regardless by uh, Sinatra, and in the end, it looks like it's going to be selfless holding on strong. They're going to get that Pulse Bomb there, but he's going to slide around that backside, and that's the Graviton Surge coming out from Sinatra there. Oh, the Pulse Bomb and the follow-up there from Michael3D finds a nice Bio Grenade. I almost thought that the Fran's Pulse Bomb was going to be absorbed by the Defense Matrix from Zephyr, but he actually, I think it actually expired as that came through there from the Fran. So that's, that was pretty much an easy wipe coming out. As they move forward, he's not going to waste any time charging onto the point. Regardless, it's God's coming through. Imang was kind of left in the dust from the rest of his team. Out of position there. There's a Shatter Kresnik, or excuse me, Kaiser follows through with two of them onto Sinatra and Dak, and that will certainly mean them continuing to build this lead. 47%, not too bad, I'd say, for Selfless, though. Possibility, but still they have to deal with the Fran coming on the side with the Tac Visor, maybe putting in some hurt onto Gods if he pulls out the blade. Is it going to be met by the Tac Visor? Can he find the kill before? It looks like he's uh, looking for it, but they do find the kill onto the Fran. But it's all about Kresnik with the shatter in the back, kind of shutting down what we were going to see from Gods. Gods had the support of the sound barrier Adam, able to keep him alive, and Wolf also used his ultimate, the transcendence in that fight, so they, they're forced to bring out both of those, but even so, it seems to pay off as it's just Sinatra pulls bombs out. Typically, you would really like to see Defran either nanoed or with the attack visor. He did actually get nanoed up, but still, oh, he does get him with the. <laughs> oh, that's big, and I was worried because it was Dak coming through with a sound barrier to initiate the fight, despite them holding on to it here, X. And it was Defran coming up big for them with that kill, but still. Plenty of people here for C9 to turn this in their favor. They're at 99%. This is going to be flipped here. Kresnik is way on the side here. Almost four with Adam coming up with a sound barrier are going to be enough to actually turn this one. Kaiser gets grenaded, but the nano boost comes out. Shatter. Earth Shatter missed, man. Yeah, I didn't really find anything from that. Thankfully, he wasn't taken out, though, by Surefor's ultimate. There is a boostio on the table here as it looks like Dax trying to get something down. Didn't really find too much damage as the Bustio, and still, Selfless holding a couple of people on the point, not going to be lasting too much longer. But again, just a lot of line of sight to use to get away from that. So I, I'm not sure if it'll get kills, but it might lead to kills through the isolation that it creates. Attack Visor coming out from the France. Sound Barrier trying to hold strong through that. And you got you mentioned all of the ultimates they had, man. Gods was put to sleep there. Uh, they didn't find really anything from that, Kyrx. Despite being on a massive disadvantage, they only used Tactical Visor from the Fran, and they still punch out, what, 
four ultimates, I believe, were used from C9. They can't come up victorious. Selfless will be able to take back the lead here. Gout here. See if they can open up this bike. Graviton Surge up high there, coming out from the side of Sinatra. As it looks like Kresnik actually gets the Nana Boost up here. And again, they open up the fight. They're actually dropping all of their ultimates into this one here. And they retain this. And remember, only 10 seconds left. They have a couple of people near the point for C9. But I'm afraid this is a done deal. Sheer forward coming back on the 76. He is going to be taken down easily. And that should be selfless. Tying this one up. We are headed to a fifth and final round here on the pole. Maybe the whole hog is able to, you know, bounce him away enough that he's not able to have that same kind of lethality that we're looking for. But that's the Nana Boost going out. It's on to Sinatra there from the side of C uh, side of Selfless. Oh man, Rolf is actually charged into there. Bulls bombs out. Sure for picks up one for himself, and this is going to be C9 battling their way back into this one. Does get a reset, but it's Sure for the first to fall, looking for a shatter from Kresnik. He's going to go ahead and drop it. Hits nothing but a pillar. That's not going to be a good sign for him as they do lose Sinatra. But even so, they're taking care of business that's with gods that's a big thing that's on my mind right now gods has not been as much of an impact on the genji as we've seen from him previously on trying your sure for with the pulse bomb coming in he's just going to try to stall the point out gets hooked though by emong and they should be able to get this one back in their favor selfless now coming back into it i mean they still maintain the lead and they have a really good opportunity here to take this one which is going to be the last fight Pulse Bomb's out there, sure for capitalizing. Dragon Blade, everything's on the table here. We're going to hit overtime, certainly, but the Transcendence is going to be able to battle past a lot of that damage that came in there from DeFran. But man, Sinatra trying to even out the playing field with the Pulse Bomb of his own. Was looking for an opportunity. We're in overtime now. This is everything. Cloud9 need to pull this in their favor. They are going to do just that with the kill on the DAC as well. Kresnik is still in the area with a couple teammates, but it's Cloud9 having another chance to be able to pull this in their favor. Dufresne is on that Winston here. We're going to hit overtime. This is the final fight we've got on the table. Oh, God's going to be taken down by Dufresne. Pulse Bomb's out there. Misses from Sinatra. They have the ultimate from Michael 3D. What can they find? Wolf comes through, though, trying to save his team with that ultimate. He has the Transcendence, and that's big. That might be everything that they really kind of needed to actually push forward. Surfar with oh. another pick on the credit. Can Emong find the kill? Oh. They go through Sinatra with two kills on the board. He's looking at DMX Zephyr. Does it? It looks like... I think they might have it. He has a pulse bomb. He brings it out there. Doesn't find him. No sure for it. Recalls to safety. They've got numbers here for the side of Selfless. He mocked with the whole lock. He unleashes the beast. He finds sure for it. They almost take control of the point, though. They are going to. It takes down. That is a 3-0 for Selfless. They will be your champions of the Rivalcade Rumble.